everyone, welcome to my gear list video for my Awashita Loop uh, hike that I'm going to be doing this weekend. The loop is 24 miles and we're going to be doing three days out in Oklahoma starting around the Palomina State Park area. So we arrive Saturday and then we leave on Monday evening. So we have one entire full day without driving. So this is everything I would bring. We're also expecting temperatures at night to dip down uh, into the low 30s, 30, 31, maybe even a little below 30. So it's going to be freezing uh, in the more in like the days. We're expecting highs of around 50, maybe 40 high 40s, low 50s for the uh, days. And this here is the loadout I think I would take. Base weight of all this gear is 11.5 pounds. And with food and water, everything I'm going to be starting with, including, you know, three days of food and uh, three liters of water, it gets me around 20, 20 ish pounds. First, I'll go over everything I've got out here and then I'll show you how I fit it in my pack. Starting with the clothes that I'm going to be having on when I start the trail, the pants are just these Columbia pants with zip off legs, uh, but I'm going to be keeping the legs on since it's going to be a little colder. But yeah, these just Columbia hiking pants with the zip offs. Next is my hiking shirt, which is just a Columbia PFG long sleeve shirt. I like this one because uh, I even use this in the summer because of how it protects me from the sun. Next is my fleece, my fleece mid layer. This is basically gonna stay on me for most of the trail. Uh, it just goes right over, uh, right over the Columbia hiking shirt. Next are the pair of gloves I'm bringing. These are just a synthetic liner glove uh, made by head and these keep my hands decently warm uh, while I'm hiking. Next is a fleece cap. As you can see, just a fleece cap. And this one, I don't know specifically who makes it, but it's just a really standard fleece hat. And this will keep my head and my ears warm, and especially while I'm sleeping since I'm using a quilt in my hammock. And last but not least for starting the trail, or my Ultra Lone Peak 4.0s. A lot of people didn't like the 4.0s, but I really never had any issues with them. So these are the Ultra Lone Peak 4.0s and I'm gonna be starting the trail with these and you know ending as well. So I found these shoes really comfortable and uh, I definitely prefer trail runners over boots. Next, I'm gonna go through all of my little ditties that I throw in the outer mesh pocket on my pack. First is my hygiene kit. It has this small toothbrush in it uh, I didn't mean to make it this small, but this part broke off like this other travel bit. So I'm left with just this little small one and it weighs nothing. Next is my first aid kit, which just has some standard pills like ibuprofen uh, and a poop pill. So if I, I'm in a situation where I need that, I've got that. Also some antibiotic ointment, some medical tape, and some bandages and gauze. Also have this small toothpaste to go with my small toothbrush, a very small lip balm in case my lips start getting chapped, and the rest of the stuff in there is just my contacts. Next I have just a little hand sanitizer that I keep on the front shoulder strap pocket of my backpack. Here are my AirPods for listening to music on the trail or a podcast if I, if I feel like it. This bag contains my sunscreen, my headlamp, and a few extra AAA batteries in case it dies or accidentally gets turned on in the back and dies. Here I have some toilet paper, a map with the route we're doing on it so we don't get lost. Next I'm going to move on to my water system. I carry two one liter smart water bottles with the sports caps. These are definitely way better than Nalgene's. Nalgene's weigh a ton. A two liter Canoc Vecto water bag. Uh, this is what I use in conjunction with the Sawyer Squeeze for filtering water. I use this bag for dirty water. We're also gonna have some stretches where there aren't that much water, so I will be needing to fill this up for extra water capacity. Next is my food system. So I keep all my food stuff in this Tokes uh, titanium, I think it's a 500 milliliter pot. Uh, I have the lid. And inside I have just a windscreen that I made myself out of tin foil because uh, I didn't want to buy one for this trip, but I do think I'll need a windscreen. Next, I have a mini Bic lighter for lighting. I use an alcohol stove system. You'll see I keep the alcohol bottle inside of my food bag. So mini Bic lighter for lighting my alcohol stove. 
and I keep the stove in this little bandana because if I didn't have it, it just rattles around in the pot and I find that really annoying. So I put it in this, which weighs basically nothing. And I can also use it to dry out stuff. The stove I'm using is this Fancy Feast cat food can stove that I made. By, uh, made. It has a tomato paste can in the middle, uh, carbon felt around, and then this is just a Fancy Feast cat uh, food can that I turned and I made made a little stove. It weighs basically nothing. You may have noticed that I didn't bring a, a spoon. Uh, that was totally by accident and I will have a spoon when I actually go on the trip, but just for now, pretend there was a spoon. Next is my food bag. This is filled with all the food for the trip. It's in a light AF uh, bear bag, the flat bottom bear bag. So I like this cause it, you know, doesn't tip over when I'm trying to get my food out. And I just have all my meals in here and also the little, the, uh, the, the hanging set kit. I've got my fuel bottle for the stove and this little, this little rock bag, which inside it just contains my bear line, which is just the bear line that came with it. This little carbon stick thing that I can use to do the PCT hang. Next, we have my clothing system. We'll start, this is just a Frog Togs rain jacket. We're expecting a little bit of rain, but not much. It's gonna be pretty cold, so I do bring the Frog Togs jacket. I also can use this as a windbreaker for my puffy if it gets pretty cold and windy. Yeah. This thing was really cheap. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I've taken it on a few trips now and it's held up, so well, we'll see. Then I have a pair of thermal leggings. These are just Under Armour Base 2.0 ones. They're not the lightest things out there, but they are pretty warm and I will be bringing these. Uh, next is a pair of Darn Tough socks. I also have one pair of these for hiking in, but I left those also by accident, but I will be bringing those on the trip. Uh, just a pair of the Darn Tough quarter length socks. They go up just above my ankle and I really prefer this size. Uh, finally, for the clothing that I pack, I've got my down puffy. This is just one that I got for pretty cheap at Costco. Uh, it weighs maybe like 22 ounces, so it's not not the lightest jacket out there, but it's what I got and it will do just fine. Moving on over, we've got my sleep system. So I will be sleeping in a hammock. This is the War Bonnet Blackbird XLC. I love this hammock. It's big. It's very comfortable and I love having the shelf that I can just throw my junk in just in the uh, the bag it came in. In conjunction with my hammock, I've got my tarp. This is a War Bonnet Thunderfly. It gives me great coverage and it is inside of a hammock gear snakeskin. Next are my tent stakes. I just keep them in this old Eno bag that I got with an old hammock system that I no longer use. It's got a mixture of Y stakes and uh, Easton stakes in it. So I use the I use the Easton stakes for all four corners and then I use these ones to go uh, with my hammock tie outs. And next is my pillow. This is an Outdoor Vitals just inflatable pillow. I got this for free. I just had to pay shipping when they were doing that promotion thing where they tried to sell you a bunch of junk you didn't want. But I just got the pillow because I was like, hey, I need I need a pillow. Uh, so this one works fine in the hammock. Uh, if you just deflate it a little bit. So it's pretty comfortable. Next is the top quilt I'm gonna be using. This here is a Hammock Gear uh, Burrow 30 degree. This will keep me plenty warm. Hammock Gear comfort rates their stuff. So I found this to be more than enough at 30. I could go down past 30 with this and be just comfortable. Uh, here's my Hammock Gear 30 degree Phoenix. It's a three quarter length under quilt. What I found is I just put my Z seat right into the foot box of my top quilt and the three quarter length under quilt is just fine. So it also saves a lot of weight. So if I were gonna get it again, I'd, I'd get a three quarter length. As I mentioned, I bring a Thermarest Z seat. I kind of fold this in half and use it as like a frame in my, my pack. I also use it to sit on and I use it and I use it to supplement my three quarter length under quilt. All of my clothes down and uh, my hammock, not the tarp, but the hammock, will go inside this nylo flume pack liner uh, so that it keeps all my stuff dry. And last, my pack is a Palante V2. It's the bigger sized one because I'm 6'2". So this one fits me really well. Uh, I found it to be great. Honestly, the reason I went with the Palante pack over some of the other light, uh, ultralight frameless packs is that uh, there was no lead time, to be honest. The pack has been really, really good. I would definitely recommend it. I love the, the front pocket. 
I found the bottom pocket really, really useful for carrying like a day's worth of food or, you know, throwing in my gloves if my hands get warm or throwing in my, my fleece hat if, my, if I'm feeling warm and so that I have really easy access to them so I don't have to stop. It's also got these really cool uh, sewn in front pockets and this is where I keep like my hand sanitizer, my AirPods, and I'll keep my phone up in these too. So they're really, really handy for just, just having everything you need at your fingertips while being really minimal. Also, the pack is water resistant. The seams aren't sealed, which is why I'm bringing the pack liner, but yeah, it does, it's not gonna take on a bunch of extra water weight. So now I'm gonna show you how all of this gear fits inside this pack. First things in are my quilts and I throw them at the bottom of this pack liner. So instead of, I've got this shoved down into the bottom of my pack liner bag, I grab my pack and I shove this with the, uh, with the under quilt down into the bottom of this. So now with my under quilt in there, I take my top quilt and I throw my top quilt down in there also. With those in there, I try to shimmy down in my Thermarest Z seat as like a back support. This does not go in the Nylon bag. This just goes uh, right next to the back. With that in there, I'll throw in all of my packed clothes and my pillow. I'm gonna leave the puffy for after I put in my hammock because I wanna be able to grab the puffy if I start getting cold. Last to go in, uh, the pack liner is my puffy jacket. I push all of this as far down as humanly possible. Once I have all that in, in goes the tarp. I leave the tarp out just in case, you know, it gets wet or something and I don't want to put in, you know, a wet tarp with a bunch of dry clothes and stuff. I take my food bag and I shove it in next. And finally, goes in my rain jacket. And then last, my food kit shoves in next to my food bag. Oh, I forgot, my power bank also goes in this top part. Usually the power bank will go in the nylo flume bag. Again, I try to squish it down as much as possible. Once is that, once it's as far squished down as it will go, I loop it and cinch it down with the top, with the top strap. Now on the outside of the pack, I throw in all the things that I'll need throughout the day. Stuff I'm not gonna need as much, like my tin stakes and my water filter. They go down at the bottom. Stuff that I'm probably not gonna need as much on the trail, such as my toothbrush, goes down at the, near the bottom as well. My map will also go in this outer mesh pocket or go in the pocket of my pants if, I, if I'm needing it often. This hand sanitizer in there with my AirPods. And then on this, this side, I'll usually throw in my phone, but right now I'm using it to record. Before I put in my water, as you'll notice, it's a bit bulging. And this is uh, not comfortable because it turns the straps inwards and digs into your shoulders. So I need to make this flat. And what I'm gonna do is just press on it until it's flat. With this flat, in goes my water bottles. I really hope you enjoyed this video and seeing all the things that I got in my pack. Make sure to check in next week for the, uh, the trip video on this trip and I will see you in the next one.